Hi, I'm Ashley Marie, and Mother's Day is coming up Sunday, May 8th. I'm super excited to be celebrating amazing moms with American greetings, mainly my mom. <laughs> That's who we're celebrating. And my special guests today are my daughters. <laughs> this is the reader. Hello. And this is Princess. Hi. Yes, I'm that mom that uses nicknames on the internet. <laughs> Anyway, we are celebrating my mom by making her very, very, very favorite dessert out of all the desserts that I make. And I make a lot of desserts, right? Yeah. So this is not just a cake, it's a cookie cake. These are huge eight inch chocolate chip macadamia nut cookies with layers of ganache in between each one. It's seriously divine. Warm it up, serve it with some vanilla ice cream and oh, it's heaven. All right, let's get started. So this year I want to do something extra special for my mom for Mother's Day. We live very far apart. She's over in Texas across the country so we can't be together, but she's kind of had a hard year, right guys? Yeah. So we want to do something really special for Gaga, right? Yes. yes. Yeah, but we can't fly to Texas, although that would be fun, right? It would be fun. So we're going to do the next best thing and we're going to send her a... Care package! <laughs> Now, my mom sends the kids care packages for every single holiday, so this is going to be a really fun surprise for her. We literally bought everything we could that's not refrigerated to send to her. Her very favorite chocolate chips, she's a milk chocolate gal, macadamia nuts, chocolate for the ganache, and then I've pre-measured out all the rest of the ingredients. First thing that we're going to do is wrap everything in wrapping paper so that she has a bunch of stuff to unwrap because that's fun. Who doesn't love unwrapping presents, right? I don't know. Of course, you can send a care package without sending a personalized card. So when I was at Walmart the other day, I actually picked out one from me to my mom so I can write her a loving, heartfelt message. It's been a big year and I really wish that we could be closer and I'm really excited too. <laughs> and then of course two for, for grandma, for Gaga. So, so hopefully when she gets this package in the mail, she will be really excited. So you guys ready to start making our own cake? Yes! Sure. The first thing that we're gonna do is start the ganache. So reader, can you pour the whipping cream in there? Sure. You want to bring your whipping cream to a small simmer and the ratio for this is one parts cream to two parts chocolate. So I've already chopped up all of our chocolate. So I'm using two cups of whipping cream, which is 16 ounces, and then I have two pounds of chocolate. The cream is simmering, and now what you wanna do is pour it over your chopped up chocolate. And now you wanna let that sit for five minutes. That's going to let that warm cream kind of permeate the chocolate all the way through. If we started stirring it now, as you stir, it cools down, and then any chunks that don't get melted will stay chunky. So by letting it rest for five minutes before you start stirring it, you really let the whole mixture come nice and warm, and then you can stir it smooth much easier. Wow, that chocolate is melted. Mm-hmm. It is beautiful and glossy and thick and shiny, and it smells... Delicious. Delicious, it smells amazing. So we're gonna put this off to the side, and as it cools, it will actually thicken up and it turns into this wonderful frosting we can use. Now it's time to make the best part, the cookie dough, right? <laughs> All right, so reader, why don't you put the softened butter in, and princess, why don't you pour the sugar in, okay? okay? Wow. And now add the vanilla. One of the secret ingredients for these cookies is this oatmeal. Now, we don't just wanna throw oatmeal in the cookie, we actually want to create an oat flour, so we're gonna grind it up. You can use a blender for this if you don't have a food processor. The one thing you wanna be aware of is not to grind it up so much so that the mixer or the blender, if you're using a blender, gets so hot that it actually starts to cook the oats. You'll start to smell it, that's not good. Now it's time to add all of our dry ingredients to this nice butter mixture. So we have some baking powder and baking soda. Here you go. We have some salt, we have some flour, and finally our ground oats. And now that the dough is nice and thick, it's time to add the best parts, the macadamia nuts and the chocolate, chocolate chips. The dough is done, should we give it a try? Yeah! yeah. Right, here's a spoon for you, a spoon for you. Yes! <laughs> mm. oh All right, happy Mother's Day. Now to prepare your pans, I just use normal cake pans. You just want to spray the inside just like you would for a cake and then take a parchment paper circle and put it down in the bottom. Now to make sure all of our cookies are the same size, what we're going to do is start um, using a measuring cup. You can also use a scale if that's easier for you. So I'm going to take this three-fourths cup, kind of squish it down in there. 
and then do it that five times and then see how much dough we have left. I have five portions that I've measured out to a cup and a half of dough. Here's one for you, one for you, one for you. We're gonna pat these down into the pan. Once you get it completely spread out, then you can use like the back of your fingertips, the back of your hands, to get it nice and flat. We're gonna cook these low and slow. We're gonna do it at 320 degrees for about uh, 15 minutes, then give it a check and see if it needs two to three more minutes. Now it's time to put our bag together. We'll start with the biggest thing, and then we'll start with the heavy stuff. You wanna hand me the bags? Thank you. Now we need some tissue paper. So what you wanna do is take your square, all right? and you grab it in the center, and then you shake it. So our cookies are out and they're cooled, and now you can see that there's a little bit of a lip because the middle of the cookie shrinks as it cools down. So what we want to do is to cut it so it's nice and flat, or as flat as a cookie can be. So you wanna take a really sharp knife and just kind of cut in, keeping the knife level with the majority of the surface of the cookie. So we're really just cutting off that little bit of a lip, it shouldn't take very long at all. And actually it's good to eat. <laughs> it sure is. Big huge plop of the ganache. It seems like too much. No, it's not though. Spread while you turn, okay? Good job. We're gonna put a nice big chunk right here. We noticed. Right, I'm gonna hold it over on the side and just spread it around from there. Now it's time to decorate. decorate. <laughs> so we took all those tops that we cut off of our cookie layers and we crushed them up in our food processor and we're gonna sprinkle those along the top. But what are we gonna do first? Um, we're gonna add a border. Yes, we're gonna add, add a, a border to hold the cookie crumbs in. So I've let the ganache cool so it's much thicker than it was when we were frosting. This will make it easier to pipe. Otherwise, it would have just kind of been goopy and melty and bleh. 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 <laughs> I'm going to start right here at the border, holding it about a quarter of an inch away from the edge of the cake. I'm going to squeeze, 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 to stop squeezing and pull up. That creates our little star. That kind of looks like squeeze, 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 stop squeezing, pull up. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. <laughs> oh, be careful. Okay, I'll help. Okay, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze more. More, more, more. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Harder, 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 harder. Stop. Pull. Good job. We're gonna take this and crumble it on top and then just kind of spread it around. Okay, and spread it. We finished our own cake and we finished our package. We're sending this off to Gaga today. So happy Mother's Day, Mom. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a great time with my girls. Did you have fun? Yes. How about you? A delicious time. A delicious time, good. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything and leave me a comment down below and let me know what you're getting your mom for Mother's Day or if you're a mom like me, what you're hoping to get for Mother's Day. <laughs> All right, time for our favorite part. Now we get to eat. All right, ready? Ooh. Oh. Mmm. There's only one thing that makes cookies better, and that's chocolate. More, more chocolate. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. <laughs> What's one of your favorite things about Gaga? She smells nice, and her house smells nice too. I just really like the way her house smells. That's because she cleans. <laughs> Maybe if we cleaned our house, would smell nice too. <laughs> I like, I like, bleh, bleh, bleh. bleh.